Shalom, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, I'm going to be continuing on with the wisdom series. We are on Proverbs 26. Like snow in summer and rain in harvest, so esteem is not fitting for a fool. As a bird wanders, as a swallow flies about, so a curse without cause does not come. A whip for a horse, a bridle for a donkey, and a rod for the fool's back. Do not answer a fool according to his folly, lest you also become like him. Answer, or answer a fool according to his folly, lest, you, lest he become wise in his own eyes. He who sends a message by the hand of a fool cuts off, his, cuts off feet, drinks damage. The legs of the lame hang limp, so, so is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Like one binding a stone in a sling, so is he who gives esteem to a fool. A thorn goes into the hand of a drunk, so is a proverb in the mouth of fools. Um, an archer who Rascal. wounds anyone, is he who hires a fool or any passerby. As a dog returns to his own vomit, so a fool repeats his folly. Have, have you seen a man wise in his own eyes? There is more expectancy for a fool than for him. The lazy one says there's a lion in the path, a fierce lion is in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does the lazy one turn on his bed. Mm -hmm. The lazy one buries his hand in a dish. It tires him to bring it back to his mouth. The lazy one is wiser in his own eyes than seven rendering advice. A passerby meddling in a strife not his own is like one who takes a dog by the ears. Like a madman who throws sparks, arrows, and death. So is a man who deceived his friend and says, I was only joking. For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and without a slanderer, strife ceases. As charcoal is to burning coals and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. The words of a slanderer are as dainty morsels, which go down into the inner parts of the heart. Burning lips with an evil heart are like earthenware covered with silver dross. He who hates pretends with his lips and lays up deceit within him. Though he speaks kindly, do not believe him, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Hatred is covered by deceit. His evil is disclosed in the assembly. Whoever digs a pit falls into it, and whoever rolls a stone, it turns back on him. A lying tongue hates its bruised ones, and a flattering mouth works ruin. Um, Proverbs 27. Do not boast of tomorrow, for you do not know what a yom brings forth, or what a, day, what a day brings forth. Let another man praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips. A stone is heavy, and sand is weighty, but a fool's wrath is heavier than both. Wrath is cruel and dis... You know no, and dislike... Sure? Yes, I'm sure. And dislike overwhelming, but who is able to stand before jealousy? Open, open reproof is better than hidden love. The wounds of a friend are true, but the kisses of an enemy are profuse. One satisfied loathes the honeycomb, but to a hungry one, any bitter food is sweet. Like a bird that wanders from its nest, so is a man who wanders from his place. Ointment and perfume gladden the heart, so... One's counsel is sweet to his friend. Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, and do not go into your brother's house in the yam of your calamity, or the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor nearby than a brother far away. My son be wise and gladden my heart, that I might have a word for him who reproaches me. A clever man foresees calamity, hides himself. The simple shall go on, they are, they are, they are punished. Take the garment of him who is guarantor for a stranger, and for a strange asha, pledge it. He who greets his friend loudly early in the morning shall have it reckoned to him as a curse. Drops that never cease on a rainy day, on a very rainy yom, or rainy day, and a contentious asha or wife are alike. Whoever represses her, represses the wind, and his right hand encounters oil. 
Iron is sharpened by iron, and a man sharpens the face of his friend. He who tends the fig tree eats its fruit, and he who guards his master is honored. As in water, face, re face reflects face. So a man's heart reflects a man. The grave and destruction are not satisfied. So the, the eyes of, of man are not satisfied. A refining pot is for silver and a furnace for gold. So a man is tried by his praise. Even if you pound a fool in a mortar with a pestle, along with crushed grain, his folly shall not leave him. Know well the state of your flocks, set your heart to your herds, for riches are not forever, nor a, nor a diadem to all generations. Grass vanishes and new grass appears, and the vegetation of the mountains are gathered in. The lambs are for your garments, and the goats for the price of a field, and goats milk enough for your food. For the food of your household and food for your girls. Proverbs 28. The wrong shall flee through no one, though no one pursues, but the just are as bold as a lion. Because of transgression of a land, many are its rulers, but by a man of insight and knowledge, justice is maintained. A poor man who oppresses the poor is like a sweeping rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the Torah praise the wrong. Those who guard the Torah strive with them. Yes, indeed we do. Evil men do not understand right ruling, but those who seek Yahuwah understand all. Better is the poor who walks in his integrity than one perverse in his ways who is rich. He who watches over the Torah is a discerning son, but a companion of gluttons shames his father. He who increases his possessions by interest and profit gathers it for him, who shows favor to the poor. He who turns away his ear from hearing the Torah, even his prayer, is an abomination. He who causes the straight to go astray in an evil way falls into his own pit, but the perfect inherit the good. The rich man is wise in his own eyes, but the poor who has insight searches him out. When the righteous exult, there is great comeliness, but when the wrong arise, a man is searched for. He who hides his crimes does not prosper, but he who confesses and forsakes them finds compassion. Blessed is the man who always fears Elohim, but he who hardens his heart falls into evil. A roaring lion and a charging bear is an immortal, immoral ruler over poor people. A leader who lacks understanding is a great oppressor, but the hater of greed prolongs his yomim or his yo or, or his days. A man oppressed oppressed by blood guilt flees into a pit. Let no one help him. He who walks blamelessly is delivered. But the the perverted of ways fails at once. He who tills his land is satisfied with bread, but he who pursues vanities is filled with poverty. A man of truth has many blessings, but one in a hurry to be rich does not go unpunished. To show partiality is not good, because for a piece of bread, a man would, would, would go wrong. A man with an evil eye runs after wealth and does not know that poverty awaits him. He who reproves a man finds more favor afterward than he who flatters with the tongue. He who robs his father or his mother and says, It is no transgression. He is a companion to a destroyer. He who is greedy stirs up strife, but he who trusts in Yahuwah prospers. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but he who walks wisely is delivered. He who gives to the poor does not lack, but he who hides his eyes does, does have many curses. When the false rise up, men hide, but when they perish the just increase or the righteous increase. Okay, next time I will be um, reading Psalm 29 uh, and 30 and I might read 31 too so that we can um, um, finish the wisdom series. Um, I hope everyone has a blessed evening, a blessed night. You who will bless you all, you and your families. Um, and say bye bye, Belladina. <laughs> say bye bye. She's out so much. Yeah, I know she is. <laughs> say bye bye. <coughs> <laughs> right, I love you all. Shalom.